Hello everybody! My name is Rafa and I just finished my game which I was working on the last time. That was something like one or maybe two months with a break for a Lunum Dare 46. This time I decided to learn the basics of action RPG and experiment with the light in the Gadoo engine. I was using the dungeon tile set 2 made by 0x72. I learned a lot of things during this time and you can be sure that the new tutorials are going to this channel. Oh yeah. I thought that could be a nice idea to share with you the workflow of creating the prototype of this game. The links for the game and the source code are in the description. For, of course, for the beginning I was making a test scene with the auto tile. It's a great tool. I remember when I was clicking tile by tile in my first game and now... Here we go! Just dragging the scene in a few seconds. The first mechanic was rotating the root to the mouse. The script was very easy because I'm just reading mouse position of the screen and next using global transform with canvas to get player position of the screen. Don't be confused with the global position because I'm reading screen position in the pixels from left up to the bottom right corner. Next I added my first particles ever. They are very fun and easy to use but I will do a separate video for it. Later I was experimenting with different light setup, like white for basic holy root and orange red for fire. They are looking cool at this stage, but I had a lot of problem to mix the more than two or three signals in the one area and I finished with the overlight areas because I was adding all the lights in the one point. So I decided to remove this function and maybe I will back to this later with the shaders and try the different effect. But I missed this all through, it was ice blinding. Later I was adding the animation for moving, for the dying, and of course adding the particle system for the fireball. If you zoom this area you could also see the little fireballs inside. It's like a little fireboom inception. Later I was learning how to do a dialogue system. I did a standard dialogue box which is reading text from the JSON files. After a specific signal I deactivate the player inputs and show the dialogue interface. I will tell you more about it in the next tutorials, so don't forget to subscribe. The last core mechanic is detecting and chasing the player. The enemy has an area where he can see the mage and the ray which is detecting collision with wall between them. It is because he shouldn't see through the wall. That is the funny fact, he actually can see the player, but I'm adding the limitation for him to make this more realistic. The moral of this history is the real world has a lot of limitation which we need to add to the game, but we don't have a limitation which of them we can use. Hmm. So from this moment I was just adding more levels, sound effects, dialogues and another levels and another dialogues and testing, testing and thinking about it and la 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 la. But I don't want to make the spoiler for the game, especially that it's very short. There is also a bonus information for those who are still watching this video. The game has a special secret ending. Let me know if you manage to find it. Thanks for watching, bye bye and have a great day, night and of course the rest of your life. Bye bye!